government. <laughs> I love Vino, man. I like it. government trying to infiltrate um, the various divisions of the US government. Uh, they break up families, the number of cases where you see people being interviewed, like you know, a mother or a son just saying that basically they've been their sort of relative has been told to disconnect from them yeah, and they yeah. can't reach them. They try and call, they try and write them letters, they never see them. And it's just it, get, it got to the stage, the more I looked into it, the more I realised that it wasn't just a sort of a cult designed to make money. It was committing crimes and it has been doing for decades. And it got to the, well, I mean, it's sort of, uh, I mean, it's been co it convicted of fraud uh, the other month in France. <laughs> the French courts actually fined them half of, over half a million pounds. Um, obviously, infiltrating the U.S. government is quite a big deal as well. Uh, there's a quite a famous case when um, Lisa McPherson, uh, who basically was uh, was in a hospital, uh, being looked after by normal sort of doctors. Basically, the Scientologist came, took her away, yeah. locked her in a room, yeah. and deprived her of like food, water for 17 days, and she died. 
and when they when you can actually see the pictures online of like this this woman's like corpse in sort of the uh, the coroner's office, right? She has got cockroach bites all over her body, and she has looked she's lost like forty pounds in seventeen days. I need this is in the same place with some. Tom Cruise and um, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, 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 oh, not, not John, um, John, uh, John Travolta. John Travolta, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the the guy who founded it was a science fiction writer, right? And they consider this guy to be a prophet. I mean, you'd have thought a science fiction writer starting a religion, you might have a few alarm bells ringing, but apparently not. And like, um, this this guy, uh, you know, was quite saying the best way to make a million dollars would be to start your own religion. Really, really, yeah. And then, and the, and the thing is, Dianetics was already around, like, and the, basically all he did was change Dianetics from the study of the mind to Dianetics, the religion of Scientology. Well, Dianetics stands for the study of the mind. Uh, well, di- I mean, it, they, it's meant to be sort of like, an, a, a, as it says over there, life improvement centre. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very hard to only do the life improvement side without actually getting involved um, in the Scientology. The courses cost an absolute fortune, mate. Um, yeah, I victory mask. V for Vendetta. V for Vendetta, yeah. 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 <laughs> we can get you as well. Yeah. No, uh, we, we wear these to protect our identity. They have a very long history of attacking their critics. Really, uh, really, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is this is not just kind of... They have a sort of fair game policy, right? Um, and it basically, anyone who speaks out against the church or is a critic is considered an enemy, a suppressive person, an SP. And the fair game policy states, right, and this is in the guy, you know, the guy who founded the religion, his letter saying that anyone who's uh, an enemy can be lied, tricked, sued or destroyed under any means necessary. Um, and there's a very famous case, Operation Freak Out, because uh, these guys always attack their critics, you know, always attack, never defend. Um, and, you know, before the sort of internet and sort of knowledge was a lot yeah. freer than it is, yeah. there was a reporter in the US, um, yeah. and basically, um, if you Google Operation Freak Out, yeah. this reporter, all she was doing was just writing a book about yeah. Scientology. Yeah. And they basically decided she's an enemy, she's a critic, well, and what basically Operation Freak Out was, the end goal was to have her either imprisoned or incarcerated in a mental institution. Yeah. And this is, so what, what can we do? Just not just just wake up. Well, but yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, mate. Uh, you know, if you're if you want to look into it, and you, I mean, your view, you can always come and sort of protest alongside us. But I mean, the, the biggest thing to do is just basically educate yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you, know. you know, at the end of the day, if you sort of look into both sides of the story, and you sort of you know look at their side and look at our side, and you think, okay, I see what this guy's saying. I mean, the best thing you can do is just sort of maybe just educate your friends and family a little, just yes, the sir. people around you. You know what I mean? Mahat, well, I'm gonna shake your hand. Mahat, up to you anyway, yeah. Thank you very much. Well, stand up for something you believe in. Yeah, absolutely. We need more people like, like you in the country, right? Yeah. You're a good right. man. Have a nice day, yeah. Ciao. I am protesting against Scientology, man. It's the coast across the street. Knowledge is free. Scientology is not. If you have a spare quarter of a million pounds, why not give it to the Church of Scientology? They'll guarantee you telekinetic powers, which never actually work. Scientology breaks up families, but the quote designed to make money, feel free to ask why. Knowledge is free, Scientology isn't. Families across the world have been split up by Scientology. It is a cult designed to make money. Look into it for yourselves. We are not here to religiously persecute people. We are here to raise awareness about what is a very dangerous organisation. The way of Scientology, man. Yeah, good on you. Thank you. You are now passing the cult of Scientology. Please be careful. Possible side effects include losing all your money. Church of Scientology would be able to show me someone with actual operating feet and powers, we will all go. Proof is in the pudding. The cake is a lie. You break up families. You are now tying your shoes outside the Church of Scientology. It is a cult designed to make money. Energy is a dangerous organisation. You are now passing the cult of Scientology. Possible side effects include brainwashing, losing all your money, splitting up with your families. What sort of church does this?